Hi guys, I'm just on my intro vlog style again, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was here last minute until I'm going out, so I didn't really have time to set off. Um, I'm wearing a t-shirt. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just wanted to say, I didn't show my brushes, which I was gonna, but obviously I'm running late again, so I don't have time to show them in the intro. And I've got a few new shades in my um, custom make makeup geek palette now but i'll probably do like loads of videos of those i have some of them on today well uh, the only new one i'm wearing that i got was coco bear i'm getting so off topic anyway i hope you enjoy the video and yeah let's get into it so this is my makeup collection this is not usually where i film where i film it <laughs> this is not usually where i keep it but um basically because i do my makeup in front of the window Basically the lighting was just really bad, um, I do not usually have these candles going either but I thought I'd try and make it look cute. <laughs> so um, yeah, but this storage and the, um, what's it called, I don't know, this display thing is usually in my room and where I keep my makeup. So to begin with this display, I've got a Bare Minerals, ignore my, um, how am I dressing now? <laughs> Uh, I've got this Bare Minerals uh, liquid lipstick uh, in the shade Friendship. I have Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Gemini. The Jeffree Star and Manny MUA collab in the shade Daddy. I have my two MAC lipsticks in the shade twig yeah in the shade twig and this is the shade angel which pretty much almost gone and this is my favourite nude lipstick at the moment in the shade 43 it's by the Kate Moss collection from Rimmel And then I have my uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, the Nicole Guerrero one. I've done a review on that, so if you want to see that, I'll put that um, on a card in the screen now. And then behind that I have uh, my magnetic palette, which um, I think I'm going to upload the Get Ready I did, and I talked about it in there. But this is um, just by the brand Freedom, I got it off Superdrug. And these are all Makeup Geek eyeshadows, so I've got Sorbet, Tuscan Sun, Chickadee and Dirty Martini. I've just ordered three more, um, Coco Bear, In the Spotlight and Bitten I think, so yeah, I'll probably do some videos with those soon. The next thing I've got is the Collection Highlight and Contour Kit. And then at the back I have my two Naked palettes, so this is the original Naked palette. And the Naked Smoky palette. So over here at the front I've got a NYX concealer. I have a L'Oreal blush in the shade Sandalwood Pink. It's just the one I use every day. And the NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. The reason why this is so full because I wanted to put some of my most used products in but then also products are, that are new and I'm trying to try out and I just have brought so much makeup recently which is why I wanted to film this um, because like I didn't want my collection to get too big um, I wanted to be able to like update it and stuff so before it got too crazy I wanted to film a makeup collection because to me this is pretty much like realistic size so to continue the next thing I've got is the Maybelline um, Master Straben Liquid um, in the shade Light Iridescent. I'm just trying to go through these quite slowly because these are some of my favourite items but I'll go through the drawers, drawers a bit quicker. Uh, I've got the RCMA No Colour Powder. I actually don't like this that much and it makes a mess but I don't know I'm trying to use it up because um, I tried so hard to get it so sometimes I set my eyes with it but it's about it. Um, at the back here I've got the All Nighter Set and Spray from, that's not even in frame, the All Nighter Set and Spray from Urban Decay, this is a pretty recent purchase as well. <coughs> I 
I have the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation in the shade medium 52. That's my tan shade. And then I've also got the L'Oreal True Match in the shade Ivory for when I'm more pale. I've got an eyeliner and mascara. The eyeliner is Soap and Glory Supercut and the mascara is Lash Sensational by Maybelline. This little section has concealers in. And I've got the uh, LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Porcelain. Oh, no, I'm afraid. <laughs> I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Light Ivory. Uh, the Fit Me Concealer, also rubbed off, in the shade 10. And the um, Last Imperfection Concealer by Collection in the shade Fair. Okay, finally, so the last few items. I have the Lip Liner by Rimmel in Tiramisu. I have a Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick in the shade 1993. Um... I actually really don't like this formula, but I do want to try it out again. I've tried it twice and it really wasn't working, but I don't know. We'll see about that. And then I feel like this is my newest purchase. It's the MAC Cream Sheen Gloss, Glass, Lip Gloss <laughs> in the shade Boy Bait. So I've just pulled the drawer out so we can get a bit of a closer look. I've got the uh, Technic Colour Fix Cream Contour Kit. I have the Livia Men Post Shave Balm, the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, um, a Rimmel Bronzer, two of the MUA highlighters. Um, but <coughs> sorry, um, these are absolutely making a mess everywhere because the lid just won't stay on. Um, a primer from NYX, a uh, sleek eyebrow kit, some sponges, Rimmel Match Perfection. Loose powder, um, I have a little sample of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, uh, a NYX HD Setting Powder, uh, what's this, Rimmel Highlight Contour and Blush Set, a NYX Blush, um, a sample of, uh, what's it called, a Benefit Professional Primer, The Healthy Mix Foundation from Bajorus. I'm not even going to try. And Revlon Coliste. So next we have eyes. Um, a lot of this is kind of like getting old now and I don't even know what half the stuff is in here. So I'll just go through this pretty quickly. We've got MUA palettes. These used to be like my ride or die. They're literally like £4 for all these shades. And they're just so pigmented. This one like completely well loved the lids broken but <laughs> yeah they're so good i literally like haven't used them in so long can you try use them again i have an eyelash curler that is absolutely rubbish but i don't have any others at the moment so i don't want you to get away um a single l'oreal shadow i had no black at the time really so i kind of brought this just so the black um a single MUA shadow i brought because it's so pretty but um and i can't open it and it's actually like so cheap but it's oh i feel so creamy oh my god look at that i just never got around to using it but i really need to i don't even know if that's picking up because i feel like i'm kind of blocking the light <laughs> that is crazy oh my god but it's so beautiful i need to try to use that Yeah, I don't know, that's a mascara. That was an eye primer from Avon, I think. Uh, a gel liner from Avon, apparently. Oh, this is the first eyeshadow I ever brought. She probably took it away, but it's kind of like sen sentimental. Um, as you can see, I just like haven't used it. But she might never use that. Why did I buy a blue eyeshadow? That was the first eyeshadow I ever brought, but oh my god. <laughs> That is so sad. That's like the first makeup item I ever brought. Like a blue eyeshadow. Why? <laughs> um, some like random brands of like eyeliners. Nothing that important. L'Oreal Brow Gel. So this is my lip straw. I've got the Makeup Revolution uh, matte lip kit. 
A lot of people are comparing these to like Kylie ones, so I wanted to try it. Mine's in the shade uh, Noble. Um, this just didn't work for me. It got really bitty on me. And um, yeah, I don't know, but the colour is so pretty. I might try this out again. I really like the lip liner though. It's so creamy and oh, so easy to use. Um, yeah, this, you can see I haven't really tried either. I did feature that in a collective haul as well because I didn't get it for myself. Someone else got it for me, but... Yeah, and like this one I was brought to, it's just like, I don't really wear bright pinks, but I do want to try this stuff. Um, a Revolution, not Revolution, a Revlon lip colour. I have a few of these Max Factor ones. Uh, Firefly, Bewitching Coral, and some bronze. Oh. An EOS lip balm. Yeah, I don't know, you can just have a look there for yourself. Because a lot of these, again, they're just like... This was like from a Playboy set from like a few years ago, probably should chuck it up. Um, yeah, basically everything is going through, but I didn't really plan to do that before the video. I probably should have. Um, I think it's by Bajoros again. Even though I don't know how to say that. <laughs> uh, that uh, Rouge Edition Velvet lip cream sort of thing. Uh, Pink Fizz by the Colour Sensational, um, what brand's that, Maybelline I think? I don't know, I can't see on there. Yeah, an Avon lipstick, I don't know. Oh, I have a Primark lip liner which I also haven't tried basically. I haven't tried much on there. Uh, the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Cans, is that how you say it? Uh, I don't really like the cream formulas. Um, I know everyone loves these though, so I do need to try again. But not my favourite. But the final drawer. So I've got a number 7. Oh, I actually forgot some. I have a big number 7 box with loads of eyeshadows, blushes, lip products. I don't know, it's in like a black box. But I really don't even use it that much. That's why I completely forgot about it. But I'm not super big to get it. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So I've got this number seven things. You can see I haven't really used any of them. I actually completely forgot about this. So if I do like any of the shades, I could probably pop them into my magnetic palette now. But my magnetic, I also want to just be makeup week, so I don't really know. I tried to do pot things like ages ago. I mean, uh, yeah, this palette isn't magnetic. It's like a benefit one, but I just kind of shift everything in here. You know, ones I would probably keep. These are actually from the Benefit kit. So these are Benefit shadows. And I remember really loving them. Like the pinks. You can, I'm not sure if you can see it's kind of dug down. But the rest I'm really not that fussed about. Um, Maybe that green. Because I have a green from Makeup Geek. And um, I wasn't sure how to wear it on its own. But yeah. That's that. I should probably sort that out. Some individual. Oh. There gone. Some individual eyelashes, which I tried to take two off, but I just cannot apply individual eyelashes. Um, some scissors for when I cut down my eyelashes. This little set, I feel like this is from like Technic or something as well. Um, maybe it's not, I can't see that anywhere. I don't know. A sharpener, eyelash glue, some hair stuff, like bobbles and bobby pins. I actually just can't really wait to start building my collection more. So I've got some more Makeup Geek shadows coming soon, like I mentioned, and yeah, I'm just really excited. So, hope you enjoyed, and if you want to see any of these products in a video, then let me know down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!